Good morning, friends. Friends, I am your assistant teacher, Mr. Anil Kumar Swain, and once again I welcome you to the Gyan Jyoti online classes. Students, in the last chapter or yesterday, we studied about the life in the temperate grasslands. So, students, what are grasslands? Grasslands are regions, land masses where grasses are there up to a height of two meters or there. Uh, normally, uh, in uh, they have more height than the normal grasses. And in the temperate grassland students, we studied about the two types of grassland students. What were they? The first one was prairies in North America, situated between the uh, United States of America and Canada. And students, the second one was about the wells, V E L D S. It was uh, all about South Africa. It is situated in South Africa and in some countries also, like Zimbabwe, Botswana, Swaziland. Lesotho and this is all situated in the continent of Africa. Okay, students. So this was all about the life in the temperate grassland because uh, we have studied about the lifestyle, the uh, wildlife, the flora and fauna, the people, what about the uh, vegetation, the eating habits, temperate diet, each and everything. They are network of uh, railways, communications, roads, everything. But today, students. We will study about a new chapter that is the last chapter in the geography section is uh, subject is geography chapter number 10 is life in the deserts students what is the life in the deserts what our people live in the desert region so students before that we will study about a uh, desert that what is a desert let me write that some places are characterized by harsh temperature students temperature throughout the world is different it varies from place to place. Today it is raining here, but somewhere it may be very, very cold. Snowfall may be falling. Somewhere it may be very, very hot. So, what is the introduction of the chapter, students? Some places are characterized by extreme harsh temperature. These are the desert areas of the world. These are the desert areas of the world. Student, what is a desert? The first question is. What is a desert? The first question arises in your mind. It is an arid region characterized by it is an Extremely high or low temperature. Extremely high or low temperature. Extremely high or low temperature, which is scarce vegetation means with low vegetation. Depending upon the temperature, a desert can be hot or cold. Students, two types of desert are there. We will study in detail all about them. That cold desert and hot desert. So, let me first uh, study the definition. If this is a question, students, this is the answer. What is a desert? It means it is an arid region characterized by extremely high or low temperature with scarce vegetation. Scarce means very low vegetation. Okay, students. Vegetation means students, plants herbs, shrubs, whatever it may be. Then students will study about the two types of desert. The first one is students, the hot desert, that is called the hot one and uh, that will study about a desert, that is called the Sahara Desert. The first category of desert is the hot desert, that is Sahara Desert.
if you understand what is solid desert and how it is being characterized so what are the different uh, flora and fauna found there we will study them in detail students hot deserts are located in the tropical region students i have told you tropical region near about the equator along the western coast western coast of the continents some of the hot desert of the world are the famous are the sahara the sahara desert then the kalahari arabian desert Thar Desert. Thar Spring Thar Desert is situated in our country, and the Great Victoria Desert. Okay, students. These are the. some of the famous desert of the world hot deserts of the world so let me rectify it is a hot desert sahara kalahari arabian thar and the great victoria desert students sahara desert in north africa students just listen sahara is and the desert is situated in north america north america is the world's largest desert then it has an area of around 8.54 million square kilometers students sahara desert in the world is the Uh, highest or oh sorry is the largest desert in terms of area then it is more than two and a half times the size of india students just listen it is so large that it is more than two and a half times the size of india means 2.5 times the size of india is the sahara desert just imagine that how much it is bigger okay students then the desert touches 11 countries the desert touches 11 countries and what are the students We'll write them in detail. Friends, it is so large that it is two point five times larger than India. So, what are the countries? It is Algeria. Chad. Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritius, Libya, Mali, Mali, Mauritius. Sorry, friend. It's not Mauritius. Mauritius is in Asia. It is, and its name is Mauritania. The country's name is Mauritania. Then Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Tunisia. These are some of the countries in which Sahara Desert is spread. Okay, so then next is student about the climate. Okay, the climate of the Sahara Desert is scorching hot. So it means it is very very hot and parched dry. Summer is very hot and winters range from uh, cool in the coastal areas. to very cold in the deserts students what happens the night are very cold in the deserts but it's just the opposite in the day time or the noon time days are unbelievable hot means students uh, there's a country called libya the highest temperature has been recorded there it is near about 2 degrees celsius so just imagine what type of temperature or climate they may be experiencing students and days are unbelievably hot with temperature during the day soaring as high as 50 degree celsius soaring as high as 50 degree celsius heating of the sand and the base rocks which in turn radiates heat 
the sky is cloudless and clear the sky is always clear because uh, due to the high sunlight or the dark bright sunlight it is the sky is always clear the moisture evaporates faster than it accumulates there is less moisture it uh, evenly it accumulates very much faster nights may be freezing cold with temperature nearing 0 degrees night may be freezing fine but temperature nearing 0 degrees but it is just the opposite when it comes to day time then students uh, then dry wind dry hot and sandy winds blowing over a region are named as students there are some specific name given to the winds so there are students uh, coming come seen in egypt and hamara done in west african subcontinent students these are the specifically name given then let's students uh, study about the flora and fauna of the sahara desert students yesterday in the class life in the temperate grasslands i have told you that uh, flora means related to the flowers plants fauna means related to the wild animals so all the animals birds whatever flora and fauna students so what are the um, flora and fauna cactus students you know cactus cactus date palms and acacia grow in desert areas so these are the, the common plants which can be seen in the desert areas the roots leaves thorns and other parts of the plants have adapted to the hot conditions of the deserts oasis students you know oasis means a particular area have water and surrounded by sand all the uh, all all else elsewhere all the area is surrounded by the sand oasis green island surrounded by dead palms are also there in some places then students uh, let us come to the um, uh, fauna side then uh, camels hyenas weasels weasels jackals foxes scorpions and many varieties of many varieties of snakes and toads students you know sorry not toads friends lizards snakes can be seen in deserts okay they are prominent uh, around uh, this species around this desert these are the prominent animal species living here birds like ostriches ravens owls they all are common there and they can be seen there friend you must have seen camel camel is called the ship of the desert you must have studied in your lower classes it is known as the ship of the desert then students will move to people and what are the people uh, what are their lifestyle in the desert area we will study it for the people so friends people uh, despite the harsh climate of the desert it has been inhabited by various types of people who pursue different activities students there may be harsh climate in the um, desert area but there are some people who are inhabited there who are staying there among them are the bedouins and the tuareg students the two types we will study that among them are the bedouins and bedouins and the tuareg bedouins and the tuareg okay they are uh, nomadic tribes rearing livestock such as they are student nomadic tribes student nomads you know uh, i have told you that nomads is uh, in next week told that uh, they are people who move from one place to another in search of food shelter okay students so they are nomadic tribes these bedouins and tuaregs are the nomadic tribes then they are uh, rearing uh, different uh, cattle such as goats sheep camels donkeys cattle and horses the animals and also uh, they are used for uh, milk transporting and uh, wool also wool wool is an important uh, 
material raw material for making uh, woolen clothes so sheep are uh, reared and raised for this purpose then should hides are used to make leather for beds hides means they are the skin skin of the animals then uh, they are making beds slippers water bottles uh, and uh, different items etc etc then their hair is used for uh, making mats carpets clothes blankets okay and woolen clothes like jackets also the tribes wear heavy and loose robes to protect themselves against the strong sun students they cover their body against the long robes wardrobe wardrobe means students the dresses against uh, they want to save them from against the strong sun the storms and hot winds then students they also cover their heads and with the clothes as star was said you have, you must have seen in uh, that uh, animal planet national geographic channel that how the people of africa do live so students this was this was all about the people we study students next is oasis student as i have told you that what is oasis oasis is the place where where water is there and the whole place is surrounded by uh, the sand in the desert especially you can see the oasis and oasis is an area of vegetation in a desert it is an area of vegetation an area of vegetation an area of vegetation in the desert it is Uh, formed by the depression created when the wind blows away the sands students just listen it is a uh, wind uh, is also an agent of erosion so when the wind blows and when the wind blows away the sands in such depressions in such depressions where the underground water reaches the surface and oasis is found it is a fertile area this particular area is a fertile area because you can see vegetation only in this oasis and not in the nearby side okay students this is the process by which an oasis is formed then most settlements in a desert are built around an oasis because students water is one of the most important element for survival therefore you can see if you visit any desert you can see that if there is an oasis you can find some settlement there the oasis in the sahara and the nile valley in egypt support population because there is water as i have told you that student people grow dead palms around these water bodies dead palms students you know dead palms dead palms <coughs> can be seen uh, it is in hindi it is called khajur so it is it can be seen near the oasis the people residing in near the oasis they usually grow that dead palm students then next crops such as rice wheat barley and beans are also grown students this are this type of crops are also grown in the sahara region sahara desert region egyptian cotton famous worldwide is also grown in egypt students there is a specific type of cotton that is the egyptian cotton which is famous worldwide is grown in egypt then students the sahara is rich in minerals like petroleum the sahara desert region is famous for uh, petroleum iron uranium iron magnesium and uranium you can found this type of minerals in the sahara region libya and egypt have led to the development of industries in the region libya and egypt have Uh, led to the development of industries in this region though it may be a hot country but uh, you know students egypt is famous for pyramids and uh, tourism industry is in a uh, great industry great profitable industry in the country of egypt then students the cultural landscape students the cultural landscape of the sahara is undergoing a change gleaming glass sheet Caged office buildings tower over mosques and super highways 
क्रिस क्रॉस द एंशियंट कैमल पाथ ट्रक्स आर रिप्लेसिंग कैमल्स इन द ट्रेड लोकल टोरेक्स मीन्स द लोकल ट्राइब्स द बेवडनीस टोरेक्स आर सीन एक्टिंग एज गाइड्स टू फॉरन टूरिस्ट दस आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज ऑल्सो फेमस फॉर टूरिज्म देन मोर एंड मोर नोमेडिक हर्ट्स मैन आर टेकिंग टू सिटी लाइफ टेकिंग टू सिटी एंड दे आर मूविंग टू सिटी फॉर फाइंडिंग ए बेटर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर बेटर स्टैंड आउट लिविंग एंड फॉर यू नो दैट दर पेट्रोलियम इज अ मेजर इंडस्ट्री देयर सो जॉब्स इन ऑयल एंड गैस एक्सप्लोरेशन कैन बी सीन एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द लोकल पीपल द लोकल ट्राइब पीपल देन फॉर द पीपल ऑफ सारा डेजर्ट स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट इज द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ डेजर्ट इट इज स्टूडेंट द कोल्ड डेजर्ट दैट इज लदाख स्टूडेंट यू नो दैट लदाख इज सिचुएटेड इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड इन द लास्ट इयर इट सेल्फ स्टूडेंट यू नो दैट ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन दैट द डेट इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ Iron Man of India, that is Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. Two Union territories were carved out from the state of J&K. That was first of all was uh, Ladakh, the second one was J&K. That is the Jammu and Kashmir. So students, Ladakh is a high altitude cold desert situated in the Great Himalayas on the eastern side of J&K. Students, Ladakh is situated in the eastern side of J&K and the western part that is nearer to Pakistan. That is called the Jammu and Kashmir. Then La means mountain pass and Dak means country. Students, La Dak means La means mountain pass. That's the meaning of the word. And Dak means country. Lah means mountain pass, Dak means country. Students, Ladakh means the land of passes, or it can be known as this is not we can't say the country of passes or the land of passes. Students, the next is uh, that the region has several passes. We know that uh, if uh, a place is known as the land of passes it may, it must have uh, many passes the the first one is this region has several passes that is the zozila zozila is an important pass of the ladakh region then students the karakoram range in the north and uh, zanskar range in the south encloses the cold desert of ladakh students two major mountain ranges the first one is karakoram range that is in the north and the zanskar mountains in the south they enclose the area ladakh and several rivers flow through ladakh students several rivers flow through ladakh so that is indus indus river indus is the most important river students the indus river civilization is named in this name indus indus is a river then Uh, the next one is the rivers from deep valleys and gorges when this is the source source of river then the rivers form deep valleys and gorges several glaciers are found in ladakh example the gangotri glacier students look the gangotri glacier is the place from where the river ganga has originated students a uh, gangotri glacier is a place in ladakh from where the river ganga has originated the two rivers uh bhairavi and alkananda they both mix up to make the river ganga then students what about the uh, climate the same thing you will study here what we studied in the chapter uh, in the section or desert sahara First of all, it is the students, the climate, then flora and fauna, then people. Students, what about the climate? 
the altitude of the place varies between 3000 meter in kargil the altitude of the place varies between 3000 meter in kargil to more than 8000 meter in the karakoram students just look from 3000 meter to 8000 meter high places or high altitude places therefore ladakh is known as the cold desert area as the climate is extremely cold and dry due to high altitude air at this latitude altitude is so thin that the heat of the sun can be felt intensely ladakh has long freezing winters lasting from november to march to end november to march near about 5 months it has long freezing climate with temperatures below just look below 0 degree means minus 40 degree Celsius up to minus 40 degree Celsius means just imagine that how much cold it may be there just imagine when our uh, places the places where we are staying uh, we have 2 to 3 degrees Celsius or near about 10 degrees also and we feel how much cold but just imagine the places which is uh, near about minus 40 degree Celsius showing the Siachin glacier the Siachin valley you can say where our uh, army men are uh, safeguarding our country so that is the highest war point in the world the, wa how much just imagine that how much cold there may be and how they are surviving there to protect our country then friends summers are short and very dry it experiences freezing winds and burning hot sunlight there is little more than 10 centimeter rain every year it is completely deprived of the monsoon winds that uh, is bring that is that which brings rainfall to most parts of the india students uh, especially the himalayas are one type of uh, responsible for uh, rains and different type of winds they uh, act as an obstacle so that is it plays an important role in the climate of our country that is why in spite of the presence of so many water bodies the region is a desert students the next uh, subtopic here is the flora and flora and fauna i have told you that the meaning students the flora and fauna students as a result of high aridity students i have told you as a result of high altitude lack of fertility and long winters the vegetation is very sparse due to high altitude students the temperature is very low there are scanty patches of grass and shrubs for animals to graze there are different types of animals so, and uh, people are engaged in cattle rearing also groups of willows and poplars are seen in the valleys during the summers fruit trees such as apples apricots and walnuts bloom Several species of birds are sighted in Ladakh. Robins, red stars, Tibetan snowcock, raven, and hoopers are very common. Some of the trees, uh, sorry, not trees, friends, some of these birds are migratory birds. Students, you may have heard the name Chilika. There, the migratory birds come from different countries also. So, like in Ladakh also, uh, the birds which I have told you that robins, red stars, then uh, hoopers, Tibetan snowcock, ravens, they are some of the migratory birds. They come from different places. Then students, what about the animals? We will see. That uh, wild goats, wild sheep, yak and special kind of dogs. So they can be seen in the Ladakh region. Wild sheep and uh, wild goats and dogs also they can be seen. The animals are reared to provide for the milk for the meat and hide yak's milk is used to make cheese and butter students you know yak's milk is also used for uh, drinking purpose okay you know that uh, goats also give milk so this uh, yak especially seen in this region cold region they use their milk to make cheese and butter the hair of the sheep and goat is used to make woolen clothes students just to show. Uh, as it is a very cold place their fur is used for making woolen clothes 
the goat and sheep especially the goat and sheep uh, hair is made to make woolen clothes then the chiru the, the tibetan antelope students let's say uh, this is the animal called the chiru the tibetan antelope the tibetan antelope is an endangered species hunted for its wool known as santu students endangered means endangered means uh, the uh, animal it may be a bird it may be an animal so they are very less in number they may get extinct after some time because of hunting and different purposes illegal purposes they are also poaching it is light in weight and extremely warm the finest cricket bats are made from the wood of the willow tree found here friends uh, you must have played cricket the willow tree from the willow tree the cricket bats are being made okay students then we will move to the last part that is the people students in the last sub topic in the chapter is the people what have we have uh, studied in the sahara desert now we'll study about the ladakhian people students the people here are either muslims or buddhist there are many buddhist monasteries called gompa students gompa gompa are the buddhist monasteries some famous monasteries are hamir thiksi se and lamayur students these are the buddhist monasteries and uh, most of the people here are buddhist people people cultivate wheat barley potato peas beans and turnip mostly during the summer months and students fruits like apple apricot and walnuts are growing are grown during summer students you know that the apple apricots and the walnuts are very famous especially the kashmiri one so these are the most uh, favorable zones favorable areas for growing this type of crops the land is irrigated with the help of wells or by channelizing water from the ice and snow of the mountains people have adapted to harsh environment in various ways in the summer season the people are busy cultivating barley potatoes peas beans and turnips so student in summer uh, this type of crops are grown the climate in winter months is so harsh that people keep themselves engaged in different activities like the ceremonies uh, rituals festivals festivals the women are very hard working they work not only in the house but also in the fields but also manage their small businesses and shops where and tourism students tourism is one of the important industries in ladakh all most of the people they fed themselves by tourist uh, tourist money tourism is uh, very much a favorable uh, area for income source butter is used abundantly as it helps keep the body warm in cold climate tea made from yak butter in is locals favorite clothes made of wool fur or animal skin are warm and leh the capital of ladakh is well connected both by air or road students leh leh ladakh is specially commonly said so leh is the capital of ladakh is well connected both by road and air the national highway 1a connects leh to kashmir valley through the zora la pass students as i have told you that ladakh is a great tourist spot great tourist place visitors to the gompas and trekking to see the meadows and glaciers witnessing ceremonies and festivities is a common activity of the tourists you may have seen in uh, films also that uh, the people how what are they are wearing how the how the wardrobes are there how their clothing is there although modernization has changed the way people are living in ladakh but still people live in balance and harmony with nature then resources like water and fuel are used with caution and nothing is discarded or wasted students as there is a, as there are no uh, many rich people there the, the they know the art of saving water water and uh, they use it very uh, water and fuel so they use it with caution so students this was the topic all about uh, today we have completed the chapter number 10 the life in the deserts and students we have today completed the section geography students the last chapter is remaining that is from history that is the 18th century the name of the chapter is 18th century 
will study it tomorrow so students for today goodbye students have a nice day and stay home stay safe